What's up everybody, it's Nerf Ninja here, and I am back in my Let's Play world of Minecraft. I had neglected this for oh so long, and I want to start playing it again. So, in the like four months it's been since uh, the last episode of this world, I didn't do much, I didn't really play it much, but I did a few things, so I'll show you that. I have, I did play a lot of Minecraft, I was playing a lot of mini games with my friends, but I kind of neglected the, the thrill of uh, just single player Minecraft, which I think is where, where Minecraft really uh, shines in that survival aspect. So let me first show you everything I did while you were gone. So uh, that's just my, my face. That's probably going to go down soon, I just put it up. Just made it made of coal blocks and uh, redstone blocks. Uh, this is actually a refreshing tour for me also because I haven't played this in so long. Um, a bunch of horses I found over that way. I found a lot of horses. I'll oh, get out of here. Out here. Yeah, I made them breed, but they somehow keep dying. They keep walking into the walls of the sand, so they just suffocate. It's unfortunate. Um. Forgive me if I am like showing stuff that was in the last episode because I don't remember to be honest. This is a mob trap I made. Um, oh, that's just the Christmas chest. So that happens. I get the drops and they can put me in here. Um, this is just <laughs> nothing. I just, just I saw this on Reddit. It's uh some cool water pattern you can make. Um, yeah, all this stuff is like gonna go down eventually. I just, I just decided to just fool around and do it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it, in the last episode the pyramid was finished, but I guess you could say the outer shell is finished. Besides the top, um, the very top, I want to make it. I want to change that cobblestone to gold blocks. Uh, I think that'd be cool because like gold is very like uh, Egyptian. -y, I don't know. So yeah, and I want this has to be glass because I think it, I'm gonna have four beacons in here eventually. So yeah, so I made this entrance and let's go in. What? Oh, this is a sand door. Why is the sand over here? I will. Grab some sand. I realize you don't know any about the chest. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, everybody. Where's my sand? Everybody, close your eyes. I'm not supposed to be seeing this. Wasn't supposed to happen. Five. Oh. Eight. Need one more. Okay, all right, so pretend you did not see any of that. I want to show you a nice little reveal, but I guess that was spoiled. I'll explain all this uh, in a sec. Um, all right, <laughs> so pretend that did not happen. So here I am. We have our uh, nice epic entrance. I guess not that big, but I made a sand door, so click the button. Goes down, goes up. That took a long time to make it. It took a long time to figure out how to make it like stay open for just the amount of time that I could actually walk through it. So it's it's sand, so it's a three by three door. It doesn't need like pistons to come up and get the middle block because the sand blocks fall by gravity. And it works on both sides. So I get a nice view outside and I can walk out. Uh, enough of that. So, very spacious pyramid. I have not done anything really in here yet. Um, the reason there's big chunks of sandstone next to the door is because I had to have a redstone line on this side. And if it was just a big chunk on that side, then I had to look weird. So I made it 
have it on both sides. So I'll show you that. So I guess I'll just show you the redstone for it. Alright, so. Just have a door here. A lot of detail went into like the steps here. I have a nice little stairs going up here. I think that makes it look a little nicer. I want to put more colors in here. So, in here is how the redstone works. That block right there where I'm pointing at is where the buttons are on either side and a redstone goes down here and this just makes it stay open for uh, the set amount of time like if I go like this then we'll stay open longer I think it's good like that um, and this is the redstone so if you really want to pause the screen and look at this, then be my guest. But I just found it on YouTube, uh, somebody's tutorial. I'll see if I can put it in the description if you're interested. And I'm gonna, now whenever I do redstone, I'm going to start putting smooth stone on the walls and everything. Because I think that makes it everything easier to see. And stone brick for what the redstone is actually on. So I don't break any of my redstone stuff, and I know what it is. Uh, so all of my all my items are in these chests over here. I'll just quickly show you what I have. Um, that's nothing. My door is from like episode like two because I like made some money for like a, a villager breeding, but then the villager died. And my ores. Yeah, so I have a lot. Like, this is all coal blocks, so that's like nine stacks of coal in one block. And a lot of diamonds. And here's all my pick and chance. It's nice. I don't have any real work picks on me. Alright, this is my last work pick, so I'll need to get some more of those. Um, yeah, I just have a little station there, see what time it is even though I have that uh, and then back here I just have to make it go on both sides and I've just used this so far as a um, branch mine probably temporary I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it maybe I'll make it look nicer in the future so that's all it is I'm not sure how far I went back this is where I've got those 42 diamonds and I also have fortune 3 so it's really more than it is. Wow, I went pretty far back. I didn't know I did this so far. Right here. That is where I stopped. So yeah. Oh yeah, these enchants are that. Power 4. And my work pick. Okay. So now I'm going to go to sleep. So it becomes daytime. And I'll show you um, my XP farm. Yeah, that's why I have all these enchants now. I made an XP farm. It's not very good. Like, I have... In this world, I haven't even gone to the nether yet. So... Well, this world definitely is the uh, longest I've been in without going in the nether. I don't know. I haven't really felt the urge yet. But I will soon. Yeah, so I don't have any access to, like, Blaze or Enderman or all those, like, super powerful XP farms. I think I found like a skeleton or zombie dungeon a while back, but it's pretty far from my home, so I didn't make an XP farm. But that spider dungeon that we found in episode one, um, I converted it to a spider XP farm. It doesn't work that well, but it's usable. It's actually quite slow, but I'll show you guys anyways. Yeah, my 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 camping's down there too my uh, bookshelves and my head. hello do I hear your bell? no okay hello it's so nice having a two hit uh, sword on creepers because then you don't have to worry about knocking them back because you can fit in two hits alright I want to terraform this scale down a little bit soon ah too short. Like, this is some really bad aim. I'm ashamed. There we go. Do it. 
wasted like <laughs> eight arrows on that guy. Okay. So nothing really changed here except for the I, I think the uh, enchantment table was on one of these roofs uh, last time, but I said that was moved to the XP place, the XP farm. Um, I did a bunch of exploring that way and that way. I uh, couldn't find any really cool new biomes, but you know, uh, I should farm soon. Maybe get some more of that sugar cane, even though I have like a full double chest full. Um, still no more villagers. We have to repopulate soon. A cow farm. Started a little chicken farm that I don't really go to often. Alright, let's get some babies. There's some. There we go. Uh, then we yeah, started a nice little uh, sheep farm. I might start a pig farm soon, but I don't really need to, considering pigs are good for just their meat and cows give you that and leather. So this is the entrance to the uh, spider XP farm. I have to make this look a lot nicer. It's mainly with cobblestone right now because I ran out of sandstone using it on everything like the pyramid and all that. Where is the hole to the... yeah, here it is. So if you don't remember, this was the first little mine I went into in the first episode of this world. And yeah, so this is just the outer shell of the XP farm. You can hear the spiders right now. I'll make sure we're on hard. Yeah. So that's the spawning room. You can't, you can't get in from the top here. Sorry if you heard that, that was just, uh, I got an email. Um... So let's go in. I had a couple of creeper blasts in here. It was terrible. But I made sure now everywhere inside here is above light level 7. So it all works. Oops, it's off. Um, so this is how it works. Uh, spiders spawn in there. They funnel into the water stream. And I'm all getting pushed right there, and then let's say when there's like, uh, well, I'll show you how it works after some more spider spawn. So they're just keep getting funneled down there, and then I'll close that off there. That that makes the pistons go like that, and then that crushes them for the exact amount of time to make them a one-hit kill. And then I just go in, smash them, and then stand there to get all the drops in the XP. But you can't stand there when there's guys in there though because they can actually hit you through the corner. Yes. Yeah, see. Um, so over here I have my enchantment table. Um, is there a crafting table in here? Oh yeah. And there's an anvil. Gotta get a chest in here. Um, and this is the redstone. Like I said, I put it I put up on smooth stone. I didn't really do the uh, stone brick for this though. Um, so this is just the side that's pushing those pistons. Again, I'll try to. I think I use uh, X Dowsy's um, tutorial video for this. Not too hard. It's pretty big though. It takes a lot of space. So uh, this is that side, and that's it. Uh, let's go this way. Make sure nothing can spawn in here too. Pretty important. And because you don't, you definitely don't want to be slowing the spawn rates of your spiders. So I will want to get a better XP farm soon enough, but this works for the time being. It doesn't really give you that much XP, so I close it, and then I'll click that button. So that crushes them for enough to make them a one-hit uh, kill with a not a tool item and then I just smash them like that I get all that stuff so yeah I just got like two levels of XP I get whatever I can get some things I don't get doesn't really matter and then open it up for the next batch if I leave it on for like 45 minutes to an hour I usually get about 30 levels so yeah uh, I'll keep that um, I, prob I should probably set up a chest down here to put the spider eyes and stuff. You know, I will right now. Uh, 
Oh, cool. Um, I guess I'll put it uh, in here. Yeah, that's half slab ceiling. So I was really, I was really saving on the uh, sandstone because I run out of that stuff very fast. I use it all the time. So, yup. And let's travel. Oh. So if you notice, I'm not getting any lag like I used to in Minecraft because I am using my new computer. So that's awesome. I'm lag free. I do have it uh set to uh set to um uh like it varies around that ex uh, much FPS right now, but I can I can still play like that considering it doesn't I don't mind it at like uh 30 to 40 FPS. And that's also because right now I I can play in like the max render distance and all that. So yeah. When I'm not recording it just goes much higher though. But you guys, if you didn't know when you're watching a YouTube video, you're usually even if the person you're watching has like a 200 FPS, you're really only seeing like 30 FPS or or lower. Because YouTube like tampers with the videos when you upload them and makes them like smaller files and they're like reduced to like 20 or something FPS. So that's fine. So that's basically everything. I'm not sure where I want to take this world now. I do want to like build this awesome cat place here and do all that fun stuff. So yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I will be right back to check how long this video is in. I am back. Uh, 17 minutes. So we have. I, you know what I'm gonna do right now? I don't really have anything I want to do. Leave in the comments what you want me to like do for the next episode and stuff because I need more ideas. But what we're gonna do right now is get our first glimpse of the of the Nether. I'm just gonna make the portal like over here somewhere. I could always move it later because we'll just I could just make them link to other portals. Uh, let's see. We need iron. I probably already have flint and steel, but whatever. Um. I need flint. Flint, flint, flint. There's flint. Let's create our flint and steel. Well, it's iron, so it's not really steel. Okay. So, I know you can make, like, different size nether portals now, so I'm gonna do that. I'll make a nice size for us. Uh, let's go. It used to be, like, it has to be, um two there and then I think three on the sides but now you could do like anything that's bigger than that but just not like you're gigantic so I'm gonna go I'll make it like ah we need to get up here uh there we go um this too big now we're good. So then I'll go like this, 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 and then I'll fill that in. So I thought that would work. Let's try to get it. There we go. And we go like that, 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 and that, and like that. So now let's light it up. Like so. And voila. Uh, I guess I'll just... I need a step up to that. Um, whatever this will do for now. Yeah, so this nether portal is not going to stay here. I'll make it like a giant awesome nether portal room eventually. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, it didn't work. Oh yeah, you can't put like different things on those. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll do this for now. 
And let's go into the nether. Do we have all the stuff? Uh, we don't need water, but whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and... Here, this will be my chest where I just throw stuff in to organize later. I like having those chests. So then I just throw stuff in them and then I organize later. Alright, so don't be in the middle of like a... Wait, is it going to spawn a portal the same size as this? That'd be nice. Or is it going to do like a standard? Okay. Don't be in, don't be on lava. Don't be like in the middle of like a lava pool. Downloading terrain. It's taking long. I guess it's the first time this world is going to the nether. And... I don't see anything. Here I am. That was scary. thought I like... Come on, my render distance is like 16 chunks. Show me more, show me more. We got a lot of quartz here, a lot of glowstone. Um, any fortress I can see, and I hear a ghast. Let the chunks load. Oh, fortress. Nice. Spawn fortress. That's awesome. I know quite a few of my friends are always jealous whenever I find, like, fortresses so fast in the nether. A couple lag spikes here and there. Maybe I should lower my uh, video settings when I'm in the nether. So I make sure I get no lag. Because lag in the nether is bad. Because then you die and fall in lava and lose your stuff. Thought I got him. Does it be higher? Huh. It looks like it's like bouncing off of him. Whatever. So I think that's gonna do it for this episode. I'm gonna try to keep the episode a little shorter, but I'll have it more frequent now. And hopefully uh we will start doing awesome stuff next episode. Yeah, it just gave me a standard portal. Two there and three down. But whatever, we have a cool portal back at our place. So I thank you all for watching. Um, I just bought Terraria and Starbound, so I'm going to do some videos on those. So look forward to all that. Ah, now there's all this noise inside my pyramid from the nether portal. Whatever. So thanks for watching. Bye.